For the past almost two years, many of us have been stocking up on the sanitizing wipes. But John French, the planetarium production coordinator here at Abrams Planetarium, was ahead of the curve, collecting these moist towelettes since the 90s. And what started as a pet project soon turned into much more. Okay, well, uh, this is the Moist Towelette Museum. The museum in French's office contains over 1,000 towelettes from all over the world. Galveston, Texas, walking along the beach, Japan, at a sumo wrestling match it's from a Russian railway that, that looks German right there. I'm from the Hard Rock Cafe in Kuala Lumpur in Beijing, Air Tahiti, from Pam Rosemont, Minnesota. I don't know who she is, but she sent them. French hasn't been to all of the places that the wipes have. Many of them are gifts. And I've, um, you know, just benefited from having them. And each one serves a purpose. For cleaning your dentures, that it's for cleaning typewriter ribbon ink and carbon paper, to clean the tar off of the bottom of your feet, for wiping away radioactive contamination. And the oldest wipe, a wash-up towelette from 1963. It all started as a joke between a French and a former colleague. I found out that of all the things on the internet, there wasn't a collection of moist towelette. So he began to collect the towelettes and soon friends, colleagues, and even strangers began donating. When working at a planetarium in Houston, he decided to display his towelettes near a space exhibit. But I noticed in that time, a lot more people spent a lot more time looking at the moist towelettes than they ever did our little bars exhibit. <laughs> so, so I thought, oh yeah, people like moist towelettes. The museum and the planetarium has seen visitors from South Dakota to Saudi Arabia, all of which sign a visitor book. It does kind of surprise me that it has as much interest as it does. A friend even discovered the collection in a New Zealand newspaper. He's down there in New Zealand, picks up the newspaper, and what's in there? Four strange American museums. Number one is Moist Towelette Museum. French says those looking to donate unused moist towelettes to the collection can either send them by mail or just stop by. For now, I'm Margaret Cahill reporting, Fox 47 News.